dear friends and students. It's really an honor to be here uh, at Osmania University, where I remember those days when I did my MA philosophy. My head of the department was Dr. Madhusudan Reddy, who inspired me a lot because she, he was a great philosopher and all the other teachers have inspired me a lot. The purpose of my uh, joining I mean, uh, alumni and then coming here is really not about me. It's not about me, but it is about giving back something to the country which shaped me, which has helped me to become what I am today, the teachers, the universities, and the students who are the future pillars. It's about you. I'm 70 years. I'm not young, but I feel that I should not give a talk because it's like, why should I talk about myself? But it is not about myself. It's only to inspire you. I feel that um, whatever knowledge I have, I should motivate these younger students and motivate um, you all uh, to build our nation as a strong country. And I, the, most of all, I feel that I've served America for 35 years, I have not <clears throat> uh, given back anything to my country, where, which is responsible for what I am today, and I should do something. So I have started going to the universities, started going to the old age homes, started going everywhere to help anybody and anyone uh, who are willing to progress, students, um, old age uh, homes. <clears throat> so my talk, um, Forward. Really, you can call me jack of all trades, or you can call me that I'm a person who is interested in learning. When I got my PhD, my mother told me one thing that, you know, when you have climbed the ladder and don't think that you got the highest degree. Now, when you go on the ladder, what do you see? And what you should, what you should always think that there's so much to know. God's knowledge is oceanic, and what you know is just a drop, and you learn, and I've never stopped learning. I learn, I learn. I'm not saying that I, I have got four degrees. I have also received several uh, certification courses in yoga, meditation, music therapy. I took Kundalini um, yoga, and I did uh, Sudarshan Kriya yoga, Shambhavi Mahamudra, you name it. Any guru, anyone, anyone who is trying to teach me something, I'm there to learn. Quantum physics, quantum particles, God's particle. I was the one who was at 12 years, I used to wonder what they are. And my daughter uh, surprised me saying that I will, I'm going to take you to CERN to see this uh, one mile particle collider because I knew that the entire Big Bang theory, you know, what the universe came is out of nothing. It's like non-matter. And they're called as God particles. But what does God particles do with us? What has yoga got to do with us? So my talk is going to be a holistic approach in the sense we are really not just this body, but we are body, mind, and spirit. So my talk is going to be how being a scientist, I looked at the cellular levels, different proteins, different genes, and in a holistic approach, there's, there's, there are information which we can perceive by five senses, but there's a lot of knowledge or information which you can perceive which, rise, which lies beyond your sense perception, means transcending the body consciousness. That's where you turn within and control all these five senses. Then the mind goes out of your body to transcend and then grabs that knowledge. And those, those discoveries, those are, in, in my view, are cosmic researchers who have turned within to explore. And they have discovered a lot about the universe and exactly uh, their scientific inventions were correct. So this is, this is, uh, so now I'm combining botany, zoology, botany, immunology, neuroscience, cognitive science, and yoga, meditation, music, all are interrelated. They are not separate. Sorry, I can see. Oh, sorry. Uh, so this is, before, before I jump into, uh, into my uh, uh, talk, I wanted to say one thing. That's what led me today um, to this level is I can say that I am not smart. I am not intelligent. I am not rich. I am not beautiful. 
I'm 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 not any superficial or, or superhuman. I'm very ordinary. But what made me progress is only one thing, which is passion. You have to have passion. When you have passion, nothing should stop you. My husband, my children, my mother-in-law, my society, my house, my nothing should stop you. Because your passion leads you, and you have to have the passion. And this is um, just I'm giving the example of my daughter who went to America. I was telling uh, <laughs> principal sir, uh, so I was telling them that who went to America, she didn't know ABCD of Telugu. It was my mistake. We spoke in English. Telugu lo matlaadi valam kaadu. Dan to Telugu nech kodam taniki Telugu raaledu. But she had passion to learn Telugu. And then she went to, she found out where I can learn Telugu. Wisconsin University law. She got um, fellowship for three months and then fellowship for another uh, three months for three years. And then she got another fellowship to come to India and stay in a Telugu family. And Vaisaglo, and uh, she stayed in a Telugu family. She found out. And in 12th grade, she was a governor's fellowship, honors fellowship. She got... Uh, she got six medical schools admission to Chikundi. London Valley, the Shadow Jiran Medical Admission to Chikundi. And then, but she said that, I don't want to be a doctor. I want to pursue Telugu. And it was shocking to us, or it was <laughs> unbelievable. And what are you going to do in Atlanta? Who's going to care for Telugu? But she said, no. And you know how much um, a doctor can earn compared to a uh, uh, Telugu professor? It's like, well, a million dollars sometimes, and we sometimes so. But she said, no, money is not important. And this girl, this little girl, became my, my girl, my, my guru. And she teaches me a lot. And she pursued her career in Telugu. And then she is a full professor. She's the first person in 20 years who got the best teaching award from Emory University. She got two hundred and fifty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars to research on Annamaya. She's the first person who translated the most complex compositions of uh, Krishna Parijata Parana uh, in English, and which is from Harvard Press. And she's motivated. She learned Kuchipudi. She teaches Kuchipudi. She's influenced. She brought the significance of Telugu in American culture, Harvard, Stanford, they all wonder about, you know, how beautiful Annamaya's compositions and that too, they were written in Talapattalo, in copper plates in 14th century, they've been stored. She went around Tirupati and she grasped and she's pursuing. So that's what uh, I'm not trying to talk about her. And she goes to Tirupati, she stood there in the line and she shaved off her head and came and said, what happened? And she said, I just gave it to grow. So she has no self-image at all. She has no pride about herself. She is a very dedicated uh, person. That is called as uh, motivation or, uh, you know, passion. So her passion for Telugu brought her to this level that she brought, she not only progressed in her career, but she brought the significance of Telugu, Telugu poets, Telugu literature in America. And so you have to have passion. <laughs> The, the, this this um, slide is just to depict that, you know, this, the knowledge means the information I'm getting through scientific, uh, uh, in, in a research lab, doing experiments and observing uh, uh, the experiments is one set of knowledge. But there's also uh, the knowledge which lies beyond the, <clears throat> beyond five senses, which is transcending the physical and that is like Sadhguru. And, uh, mm. you know, the I always quote um, uh, Neil deGrasse. He's a, a director of the NASA. He says that, you know, it's not that the universe is somewhere there and we are here. In fact, the universe is you and you are the universe. You, universe is within you. So there's some... There's, there's some connectedness with every atom, every molecule, every every uh, star, every galaxies, we are all connected. So there's a, there's a connectedness with what you eat, you know, what you eat, like a, like a green um, a vegetable, like I worked on photosynthesis. 
and C3C4 plants, you know, how the sunlight is starved by chloroplast. And when we eat, we are getting that vital energy. And, and then it functions about the every cell. But at the same token, when we breathe, we are, we are breathing the prana. Prana is nothing but it's not just the air, but there's the spiritual aspects of God's particle, which has been got the Nobel Prize for that, right? We are breathing that. And each particle has its own intelligence. And we are connected. And so this is, this is the universal knowledge. And uh, um, uh, these are the research grants. The biggest research grant I got. So this is uh, my um, basic concept is that what you eat, breathe, eat, listen, and uh, think all have um, an effect on our overall health of uh, our body. For example, you know, what you listen. I'm going to uh, talk about that too. I'm go I, I'll give you an example of how a patient who was in six months coma, and then almost uh, the mother went and uh, um, told the doctor that uh, that I'm going to uh, let him go. And they went to the, the patient was uh, on the artificial oxygen for six months. And the daughter was 19 year old, and this is told by the, both the daughter and the mother in California. And uh, she said that I want dad to leave. The, my mother wanted to leave the body listening to Bhagavad Gita shlokas. I came all the way from Japan here. I finished 18th chapter on July 4th and 5th she died. She said while listening and I brainwashed her that, you know, just focus in your mind where you're going to go into the new world, but not on we are all happy. So it is, you know, so she wanted the dad to leave the body by listening to the songs, but he was listening to the songs. And he started breathing. And then his pulse was pulsating. And then he survived just by 10 minutes song. How can that be? So I'm going to talk about that. So this is, <clears throat> these are the grants which I received. Um, uh, the biggest grant I got was about $700,000 in, um, in Alzheimer's disease. Um, and then I also got Parkinson's Foundation grant. Uh, these are not the uh, the awards, not to um, not, not not to honor myself, but I can say that these are little achievements which I have. But besides that, there are few. Uh, if I put all together, my yoga, Reiki uh, certificates, there are about fifty of them I have. <laughs> and this is uh, in San Diego. I gave a talk, and uh, I started giving the holistic approaches because I feel that as a scientist. We, were, we are chasing after what has been seen and observed in a laboratory, but um, you have to, in order for the uh, um, uh, disease to be cured, you have to approach by holistic means. Uh, <clears throat> the Alzheimer's disease I gemmed, I worked on ovarian cancer, I worked on hemoglobin variants, like a sickle cell disease, and uh, my mother died and my grandfather died with Alzheimer's and they both had diabetes. My mother died at the age of 65 and I wanted to uh, know the cause of the disease and I wanted to find out uh, if there's any cure for the disease. So I uh, gathered my ideas and wrote a grant and I got a career development award and then I got my full-fledged award. I made four inventions in that one patent as she said. Um, and in the Alzheimer's disease has been ignored because uh, they here and in America, it is given importance, but here it has been picking up right now. But it has been ignored because you know they all uh, imagine that they are old and they are they forget. That's about it. But it is so unfortunate that uh, at the age of 65, they forget who they are. They forget whether they ate. They forget their own people. They forget their keys. They are literally, literally trapped in a chair and chained in their own body, um, uh, like. Um, you know, in, like being in a jail. And so this is a very pathetic disease. And of course, this is, you know, 100 years ago, they found out that and what's happening in the brain. And I'm going to very, because I don't want to go into a lot of scientific details, um, just brief catch up. Uh, so Alzheimer's disease is a memory loss disease. And memory and the gnapak shakti potan or like, or yadjash kho And uh, we have, our brain has 100 billion neurons. In the galaxy, so now and neurons are in brain. One thousand trillion collections are Means you know, room low light sometimes because of the circuit. You know what I'm talking. Everything is electrical circuit. Alane, we have one hundred billion neurons, one thousand trillion connections, and 
the mind with the memory operates via the neurons. So what is happening is that the brain is shrinking because the neurons are cut off. When the neurons, when the, then the brain in the Alzheimer's is almost one third gone, the mass is gone. So that's, that's how they, they have found. So when, the, as a scientist like me, and for 35 years, 35 years, people have been, 100 years ago the disease was found out, 35 years ago they saw the brain autopsy and they saw that there's a protein called as beta amyloid, which is abnormally cleaved and which is accumulating. And that is what, it, just like if, when you know, if you don't brush your teeth and you have plaques on your teeth, alane, brain and the plaques on it. So people were chasing against this chinna tapuga kattayana piece when a butter. In thousands of uh, dollars or billions of dollars were spent on uh, pharmaceutical com companies and researchers to find a cure for that. But my boss always says that you think out of the box. I knew that it is not that which is causing Alzheimer's. So what uh, I want, I was asking a question to myself, at the end of the day, 60 years ago, not in the first year, but in the abnormal cleavage, some age-related factor must be influencing its abnormal cleavage, number one. Number two, the chin piece abnormal in the my immune system is very intelligent. My body is very intelligent. My body is very intelligent. We are protected. We are protected. We are designed as an intelligent and the most intelligent immune system. Uh, you know, we have thousands, uh, 600 um, uh, million cells and each of them are working and they shoot antibodies if whenever the, I have malaria or um, typhoid, the, our, my body makes antibodies. So how come is the abnormal in a pro immune system than in the recognition site the pitch connect la perigindi and brain la perigindi. Number two. Number three is that why these patients are losing only gnapak um, shakti and memory causing neurons in the potana? And a connection chase to Nato research, na research dwara, and pills in the end of the The ultimate source is sugar. <coughs> sugar. Sugar is this sugar mola dhara karanam all age related diseases. Sugar is the because sugar is energy. Manaki akalis and put sugar tintamo. Manak mali as sugar emo energy is to the ATP and then all our organs function and then we work. But there comes a point, age perigutunda put the extra sugar, like it's called as um, too much sugar tine wala Extra sugar goes and binds with the protein. Pratioka protein oka building blocks land. And take a room lock, pratiwala oka oka job and the principal garko oka job and um, registrar garko oka job and underki oka oka job and the wala wala pani wala chakaga chase to nut. The sugar goes and binds with the protein and it, first thing it does is that the put of sugar bind in a protein is reversible. We bind out and then it gives energy. It's always reversible. But there comes a point when it becomes irreversible. There comes a point when it becomes irreversible. And a park and all, you know, and it doesn't become irreversible. And that's a dangerous point. When it becomes irreversible, it has three bad characteristics because it's called as advanced glycation end products. Are the irreversible in a protein just it goes and binds with the protein, then it function if then it pan part just first. You know, every um, you know, funny some bad people come and then destroy the good, uh, uh, good people, it's like that. So it goes down, 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 a protein function parjason. Parjason, the second thing is that it goes and it goes and uh, it's insoluble until it's solubilized. It's you know, impermanent. And then now it does this protein protein induction. Pratyoka dumps this protein into the And then now it does this protein protein induction. Pratyoka dumps this protein protein My mother uh, had no organ which was functioning, every organ failed. Every organ, liver, spleen, heart, arteries. And so sugar, it, it, it goes and destroys every organ, every protein, every gene. So the, this is called as advanced glycation products. And then what has got to do with this is that it is uh, um, in recently in 2015, a guy from New York University has discovered and it's, um, it's, it's called as advanced glycation products, it's called as a ligand and a lock and key. 
ప్రతి ఒక్క లాక్ కి ఒక కీ ఉంటుంది ఈ షుగర్ యాక్టివేట్ అయినప్పుడు ఒక లాక్ ఒక కీ యాక్టివేట్ అవుతుంది అనమాట యూజువలీ దస్ ఒకటే కీ ఉంటుంది కానీ దీనికి ఫైవ్ కీస్ ద్వారా ఓపెన్ చేయొచ్చు ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ రేజ్ అనేది రిసెప్టర్ ఫర్ అడ్వాన్స్ గ్లైకేషన్ అండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ సో అది ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ తగ్గి ఈవెన్ చిన్న కట్ అయినా కూడా అది చీము తగ్గకుండా అట్లానే ఇన్ఫ్లమ్ స్టేజ్లో పెడుతుంది సో దే హ్యావ్ డిస్కవర్డ్ ఏ రిసెప్టర్ స్ట్రేంజ్ రిసెప్టర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ రేజ్ అండ్ రేజ్ హ్యాస్ మల్టీ లాగెన్ ఆ రేజ్ అనే బీటామాలని బైండ్ చేస్తుంది సో ఐ డిస్కవర్డ్ దాట్ మీన్స్ ఐ డిస్కవర్డ్ దాట్ ఫర్ అబ్నార్మల్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ రిజల్ట్స్ వచ్చాయి నాకు ఒకసారి వస్తే సిక్స్ మంత్స్ నేను ఒకంటే ఇప్పుడు నేను మలేరియా ఇంజెక్ట్ చేస్తే నా బాడీ చికెన్ పాక్స్ యాంటీబాడీస్ చేయవు కదా మలేరియా చేస్తాయి బట్ ఇట్స్ కౌంటర్ ఎఫెక్ట్ వచ్చింది అనమాట అది ఐ స్ట్రగుల్ ఫర్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ఇలా ఎందుకు అయింది తప్పు చేశానా ఏదన్నా అని ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఐ కన్ ఐ ఫౌండ్ అవుట్ దట్ నథింగ్ నో మిస్టేక్ వాజ్ డన్ బట్ దెన్ ఐ డాట్ దిస్ టు అదర్ ఇమ్యూనాలజీస్ అదర్ ప్రొఫెసర్స్ వేరే యూనివర్సిటీ వాళ్ళకి nobody answered books rose dry chest unte answer na click ayindi aro 7 o'clock when i went back to the my lab morning 3:30 ki vachanu nenu my husband je pet don't worry i am uh, uh, planning some experiments so i planned my experiments for uh, almost 3 o'clock and then another 6 months i tested in six models ante primate models monkey models and alzheimer's mouse models and then uh, cell culture models and uh, uh, patients alzheimer's and then i found this became a dis- discovery and that became a pattern and then this was boom then i found out that you know how this so it's not that beta amyloid inject is the beta amyloid inject is the region activate just now it region activate just you're really killing them before that's what i argued with the elan corporation that that beta amyloid is going to uh, kill the patient much earlier not later and that's exactly what happened but anyway <laughs> so even in our experiment uh, uh, you know results where you know we have shown that how rage is uh, Uh, almost uh, uh, three times more than normal patients is called as uh, i am not going to go into a lot of scientific details and uh, then i wanted to try sare ee neurons that the ee the um, beta amyloid accumulate avakunda untadaniki can something uh, natural like tulasi you know neem and uh, pasupu can something protect so i did an experiment i did an experiment with uh, with the um, pasuku and in that or is called as curcumin and then the neurons in a plate low grow chase and grow chase that low con i have treated them with the um, with the uh, turmeric or pasuku for 48 hours then exposed them with the beta amyloid evaithe pasuku to protected cheyabadindo avi beta amyloid vanni break cheyalekoyadi so pasuku is really neuroprotective and pasupu we use from birth to death kada manam puttina pani nunchi you know from birth to death we use the turmeric so turmeric is anti inflammatory and it can uh, it can prevent alzheimer's so this is uh, where i'm telling that uh, turmeric is very but based on all this what we have concluded yeah tulsi is also is uh, tulsi also is a uh, cure because i also use tulsi for uh, treating uh, the, for the neurons you know the the my uh, my importance was you, know, you grow thousand cells in a petri dish and you go, you give them is called as nerve growth factor but a brain lo ite ela ite neurons okati okati wire aitayo ala avutai petri dish lo and then you can do in vitro experiments then i tried all these different uh, um, uh, natural products which is neem neem especially is they say that even just in neem chettu kinda koochuna kuda manake mana in not only uh, our body health body even our mental conditions pitchi kuda dagutund antaru anta power undi yeah it's like you know they say that just breathe neem leaves and it's fortunately we have neem leaves everywhere in india but uh, um, the significance of neem and tulsi is so much tulsi is also you know the, i used to remember that my grand parents used to put the tulsi leaves on the top of their food so that you know no, no contamination or uh, bacteria will come into that so tulsi and neem also has lot of uh, significant value in uh, uh, in our overall health so i wanted to see whether they can protect neurons from losing or the brain from shrinking and what what i could uh, i as i shown that uh, 
ద న్యూరాన్స్ ద టాప్ వన్ ద మిడిల్ వన్ పసుపు ఎక్కడైతే రాయలేదో అన్ని న్యూరాన్స్ తెగిపోయాయి సో వెన్ ఐ ప్రీ ట్రీటెడ్ దెమ్ విత్ కర్క్యూమెన్ ద న్యూరాన్స్ వర్ ఇంటాక్ట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ టు షో వన్ హ్యాండ్ సో బట్ now i told you everything i got a patent i got a grant i got this i got everything i i means like i felt that i found an answer and that's it alzheimer's disease cure i person but then 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 again i told you that i think out of the box and i started thinking that what is happening in these patients memory loss memory ante enti valaki mati marupu ante mati marupu mind memory loss memory ante enti mind memory is related to mind what is mind what is mind and where are memories mind is not an organ gene protein neuron or a cell to be lost number one period when you realize that mind is not ante ipudu when i am breathing nen gali peluste nen mukku dwara na swas velthundi lungs lo ki but somebody holds my nose na mukku moosesthe gali poyindi anam kada mukku moosku poyindi anta so that's what is happening in the in the brain actually these patients didn't lose memory so scientists agree over but i'm i'm boldly presenting them now they are inviting me now they are realizing because 35 years of their research billions of dollars anthar need to go away because they are back to square one alzheimer's ki cure led because they are fundamentally we did not understand the disease at all memory polled villalo em potundi so what memory is related to mind mind is not an organ gene protein neuron or cell to be lost period so mind is infinite consciousness mind is sarva vyapti mind is universal in nature just like an ocean like like if you if you take the oceanic water and pour it into a bottle it took the shape of the bottle that infinite consciousness has entered my body and became shamla but i'm really not but i am able i am i'm going on believing that that we're not going to go into religion or philosophy but that's i'm to only to going to touch the the scientific aspect of it but that's what it is and knowledge the this the knowledge what they are getting in schools and college is about a subject ఈ ప్రోటీన్లో ఏముంది ఈ జీన్లో ఏముంది ఈ సెల్లో ఏముంది మనం ల్యాబొరేటరీలో మనం టెస్ట్ చేస్తున్నాం అంత జ్ఞానం పంచేంద్రియాల ద్వారా గ్రహించబడేదంత జ్ఞానం మనం రిసీవ్ చేస్తున్నాం పంచేంద్రియాలకి అతీతంగా జ్ఞానం ఉందనేది విషయం మనం యాక్సెప్ట్ చేయటం లేదు సైంటిఫిక్గా బట్ దెర్ ఈస్ దెర్ ఈస్ మోర్ సీక్రెట్ ఆర్ సటల్ నాలెడ్జ్ విచ్ డిసైడ్స్ బియాండ్ ఫైవ్ సెన్సెస్ దట్స్ వేర్ వీ కమ్ ఇన్ టు దీస్ యోగా మెడిటేషన్ మ్యూజిక్ ఈజ్ వెన్ ద మైండ్ ఈజ్ అండ్ అగైన్ again neurons endu poothunay neurons endu break avutunay neurons are breaking because so here he says that i always quote joseph campbell and dalai lama and joseph campbell is really my he says that what we are learning in schools and colleges is not wisdom is knowledge but when it comes to the wisdom of our self we are zero that's why in in america also lack of mind training lack of uh, um uh, uh, their mind training programs is causing children to take guns and shoot because they have learned everything they know the subject matter and why there are people you know they are taking the guns is 99% of the gun uh, killing is in in america because we are not getting the mind training programs anywhere there and so i feel that we are we are three dimensional figures we are body mind and uh, infinite whatever i don't want to uh, um, give a, a a religious uh, note for that i don't want to say that spirit but it is uh, infinite consciousness so this is we have discovered a lot going to the moon and um, discovering the uh, cars and all but when it comes to the mind training see this with the, the times uh, magazine says that um, we we are we are helpless we are not giving them proper uh, um, education in mind training and this is these are all the problems the depression you know how many people they are they comes in a wide successful people like uh, um, you know robin williams uh, prajumna benerji and uh, merlin monroe they all kill themselves whereas whereas uh, the disabled people or i can say that the hand, uh, um, uh, the blind person and they have achieved so much it's all in the mind so it is a subject which cannot be neglected so here what i have shown that you know whatever the our leaders and our our uh, you know at home level at nation level our leaders uh, and their their thoughts dictate our lives right so mind training has to be done at all levels 
So we have uh, shown that, you know, how the neurons are strengthened by yoga, meditation, music. Now I'm going to talk why yoga, meditation. Yoga is, as uh, she has mentioned very correctly, this yoke to bring back your individuality with universality. So it is yoking your, your individual, your, and you know, of all the things, we have one thing, magic rod, I call it as a magic rod, which animals and up to all the other life forms doesn't have that, but as humans, we have a magic bag or magic wand, and that is intellect. To question, you know, to intellect, who am I? You know, that, that you are universal, you are um, Brahma Swarupam, you are God, in, indeed you are infinite in yourself. And so we have to realize that. So it is called as turning within and finding your own um, individuality or in, inner power. And uh, uh, this is, uh, I do different kinds of meditation. You know, my daughter went into an accident, uh, uh, third daughter. Uh, she's a great cyclist. She was speeding and some boy came and then she wanted to um, uh, uh, avoid him. And she went and hit and then she broke, uh, hit her hand to the wall. And her ribs, her hand broke into two pieces like this. And uh, the doctors, we went and we were uh, really very uh, sad on that day. It's a seven-hour operation. I told her, hold the crystals and do meditation. And did the reti. And they said that she may take one to two years to go back on cycle within one month she was driving. I'm not saying that, you know. I had shoulder dislocation. They said that they had to do surgery. I didn't do anything. I just did meditation and Reiki and did some exercise, I can lift my whole suitcase and put in the airplane. So I'm not saying that everything can be done this way, but 99% of you have the power to heal yourself. And yoga, meditation are not religious things. They're not attached to any religion. They are is your for your own health. Healthy mind is healthy body and not vice versa. <laughs> So first, you have to understand your mind. So how much we know about our own mind. So this is, uh, so the music is, why, uh, this, what is the music? Now, if you understand this, the entire universe emerged from, it's called Nada Shabda Brahma. What came first? What came first? Shabdam Tarvat Ochin. Nadam first Ochin. Rhythm. Nada Shabdam. So when you listen to any rhythmic tune, the neurons are dancing in your brain. There is there's, there's like a symphony of orchestra in the brain. They are like so coordinated and their neuro, neuroplasticity increases by listening to the music. Music is my uh, therapy. Um, uh, as when I'm my, my both parents uh, uh, passed away in a matter of 10 months and I was alone. My husband got a job in a different stage because I was working for a grant and it was close to a million dollar grant. And finally, I succeeded. So he said, you know, he's very encouraging to me. And he said that you, you stay here and I'll come every Saturday. I was alone. Parents uh, died. And so then I thought that if I'm, if I'm sad in the house, everybody is sad. My whole house is influenced by me. So what should I do to um, help myself? So I joined a group called as Music Karaoke. <laughs> I like I love old songs. And we joined. And it helped me. So it's like you have to, it's like self-help, you know, you have to help yourself. Even I'm not retired now, I don't sit quiet. I, I'm writing two books. I'm making a documentary movie. I go for oil painting. I'm telling the old people, your happiness should not depend on anyone or anything. You have to find a source of being happy within. And so, so neurons, the music, uh, Ganapati Satchidananda Swami, fortunately, I went through uh, him and... Uh, I took Kriya Yoga, it's 21 different methods of breathing. It's called as 21 difference of breathing the um, uh, air. And then I took the music therapy. He has composed nearly 5,000 healing ragas. For anything, uh, for a lot of the pains in the body, each specific uh, kind of ailment or problem has a different tune. So he invited me as a keynote speaker in the Dattu Jayanti in the Mysore Ashram to give a talk on music therapy. So there's now a lot of people on uh, in Canada and Australia and all of them are working on how music helps you. Music, if you're listening to the music, you're really engrossed and the, you know, the mind is turned inward and then there's rhythm, rhythm unites everything. You know, they have shown that entire universe emerged out of rhythm. And you know, this rhythmic way, even the proteins when are aligning in the womb in a baby, there's a, there's a specific music 
there's a specific rhythm. So rhythm unites everything. Rhythm unites you within, within yourself. Rhythm unites you with the other, your neighbors, your friends. Rhythm unites you with the, with the universe and the galaxies and the stars, you know. So it's a, uh, music is very powerful in, uh, as a healing method. Uh, I, I just told you about one of the patients who was came back from coma, but there's one more friend of a very close friend, which has recently happened. He had an heart attack. His wife took him. He was having a heart, a heart problem. And he, uh, his wife took him to the hospital, and then they did EKG, and boom, he was gone. So they did uh, this um, CPR on him, and they tried to reverse. He was in coma. He was in coma for three days. And then his son, he's a good drum player. He's also our karaoke buddy. You know, we sing songs with him. His um, uh, wife's name is also Achala. <laughs> so, so, uh, the, the, so, so we went there and his son thought that, you know, dad always plays drums, you know, tabla. And I you know, he brought the tabla into the hospital and started playing drums. And he came back. All these doctors, all the medications, everything didn't work. But the tabla brought him back. So, there's no scientific explanation. I cannot validate by saying that every person who listens to music is going to come back. But it happens, right? You know, so the so so he survived that. But music is helpful in uh, rejuvenating your neurons, your cells, and everything. Because again, you are happy by listening to the music. You are um, turning the mind within. You're not angry. You're happy, and the happiness uh, rewires everything back in a positive way, positive energy. And this is Ganapati Satyananda Swami, um, who is, and that's my daughter, uh, who is uh, dancing there, Kuchipudi. <laughs> and uh, so, the, uh, in order to teach the old age home people, I've, I've decided that I quit my job. I told you that rage, biramaloid, complex vaccine pattern, and I wanted to make millions of dollars by, by but I realized that I am not helping patients. I may, I may make money. All these pharmaceutical companies, researchers are after making money for themselves. They are not helping patients. And what is happening in these patients is this, that they lost the circuit in the brain. The viral katai pe nai So the question is that you have to ask endu katai nai, what are the reasons? Yen chesar and valak alai pe nai. Thindi valana na, lakapote, vala brain activity valana they, 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 the neurons are broken. How to rewire them back. So in that concept, I have seen that the holistic approach, yoga, meditation, you know, instead of going beta on at cellular level, you go at mind level. Mind level and rewire everything back. So in, we can prevent them. You know, one in four uh, at 65 age has Alzheimer's in America. It's going to be one in one by 25 years more. And 65 years ago, you work whole life, you have your bank balance there, and you don't know, <laughs> somebody else will enjoy your money, right? So, but, you know, in order to save, so I decided to quit my job, and I wanted to go by proper approach. First of all, I'm trying to go to the old age homes. I'm trying to tell them that you have to find a passion. painting, or, you know, you have to find a way to be happy. All these uh, dependence on somebody for you to be happy, you have to stop. You have to find a way of source of being happy within. And so uh, I'm trying to tell them that, you know, and then, you know, happy mind, you know, happy is like, I know I told you about the sugar, right? Sugar bind out But a sugar tila and a uha could a depression people like Kosundi. Healthy people, Baga, Jesse Valaki, Valaki, you know, they, they go and um, eat healthy food. A depression people, dep you know, depressed person in America, especially, what they do is they take popcorn, they take ice cream, they sit and the gloomy, and then they keep watching. So your thoughts are dictating your food habits. Your food habits is counter influencing your immune system. Your immune system is again counter influencing your neuronal, neuronal circuits. And this is overall destruction by just by thought. Your thoughts are happy, then you'll eat healthy, then you'll rewire everything back. So go at the mind level and cure. So I'm not saying that the doctors are not 
um, uh, treating them correctly. But what I'm saying is that what can be done within, within our capacity is by holistic approach. Yoga, meditation, because our body is so stiff, we sit in a, a corner. And um, as you said, that yoking the mind with the, with the individuality, with the universality. And also um, mind training programs like, uh, so CBCT is Cognitive Based Compassion Training. The Emory University, where my daughter uh, is studying there, the dean of the faculty uh, saw that a lot of medical students, because of the stress, they were committing suicide. So he wanted to um, help these uh, patients, uh, sorry, students. So they, uh, they took Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama's um, uh, knowledge about the mind training, and made it as an academic module and then introduced. It is now 170 countries. Is spread. It is so good. It's like at all the Americans. So it is. It is so. There, there's no um, religion involved in that. There's no talk about any Hinduism, Buddhism, nothing. They just talk about the mind, and you know, mind is like a blue sky. You know, जैसे नीला आसमान है ऐसा है अपना mind. और जो सुख दुख है वो सब बादलों के जैसे आते हैं जाते हैं. But if you are if you are um, uh, stuck with one bad thought, somebody called me, you know. Uh, that, you know, accused me, and that is lingering in my mind. So when you go on the road, you avoid uh, a snake. But how come you're uh, holding these poisonous thoughts in your brain? And so they, they teach you how to, um, you know, reach it, watch your own thoughts, and then come out of it. If somebody has an opinion, bad opinion about me, it's their lookout, right? <laughs> we can't do, we can't, one more thing I, I say, that we cannot change anyone. All you have to do is change yourself. <laughs> we cannot change even a chimagoda. <laughs> so what we have to do is change ourselves, or change our outlook. And the second thing is that, so meditation helps you to clean up your kachra from your, uh, from your mind. So this one is, okay. This is just showing compassion. After all, we are all humans, right? We are all humans. We are all related. We eat. We eat the same food. We walk walk on the same earth, and we, uh, you know, we breathe the same, and we are same. You know, आप जो जो हवा ले रहे हैं, मैं भी वही हवा ले रही हूँ. आप जो खा रहे हैं, मैं भी वही खा रही हूँ. To some extent, means जैसे चावल वो है. And then, और आपने मेरे में difference ही क्या है? हम सब साथ में हैं. और ये differences क्यों? You know, forest में क्या हो जाता है? You know, in forest like one tree falls, all the other trees send their roots to rescue it. You know, we have to have a compassion. If I'm God, you're, you're God too, right? So we have to have a self-compassion for others. You know, if there's somebody is in trouble, instead of So this is the CBCT program I was talking. And this uh, is loving kindness, which is like you will not believe this. This her name is Elizabeth Blackburn. She got Nobel Prize in 2015 for aging. Face pay wrinkles You know, so why why are they aging? What is pro, uh, causing the issue? 20 years come uh, she have worked on that. And she found out that it's actually a telobarase, you know, chromosome ke upar caps rate. Yaha par ek cap, ek, ek bottle mein cap rate. You know, is taraf, us taraf. So it's a caps rate. And then she found out that those caps are getting destroyed. Uski caps khujare. And when the caps are gone, this chromosome is shrinking. Uski length, the length is shrinking. As the length is shrinking, you're aging. Tum bude ho rahe ho kyunki tumare chromosome ke caps khatam ho rahe ho. Or chote ho rahe ho. Whatever. So, so, dhaan pae na irwa yil dhisa chese tam ki Nobel Prize ho chik. But, you know, she has uh, um, uh, recently turned her attention to meditation. Do you know med meditation lengthens the caps, lengthens the chromosome? It is so, the meditation is helping you to become younger. You are all of a sudden, you are uh, you're not. I'm 70. I'm young. I went to uh, 10,000 uh, more miles than Mansarovar. Utna upar charki hai abhi. I just went. So, I, and I don't sit quiet. I walk. I I, I paint, I'm writing books, I still want to do I, quantum consciousness, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to go into the detail about that, but also in that also, like when you're breathing, that's what you're, you're breathing, you're breathing the 
गॉड्स पार्टिकल्स और वो एक एक पार्टिकल में अपनी ही माइंड होती है सो दिस इज सो दिस इज वॉट एज हर रिसर्च गॉड टू डू विद मेडिटेशन बट शी हेज शोन दैट नॉट एनी कैन नॉट एनी मेडिसिन बट जस्ट मेडिटेशन इज हेल्पिंग द क्यूरमोडाइज लेंथ टू इंक्रीज सो दिस इज अगेन मी एंड माई ग्रैंड डॉटर माई ग्रैंड मदर मेकिंग पूरी एंड आई ऑलवेज एट माई हेट्स ऑफ टू हर शी इज एड शी इज एटी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड शी इज राइट नाउ शी इज इन दी शी बिल्ड हनुमान टेम्पल एंड एंड शी हेज शी हेल्प्स पीपल शी बिल्ड टू हाउसेज फॉर टू पोअर पीपल इन नियर द हनुमान टेम्पल हु डजेंट हैव हाउस एंड शी इज एटी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड वी कम टू इंडिया आफ्टर माई मदर और फादर डाइट ऑल आई हैव गॉड इज हर and she is a perfect example as a woman she keeps herself busy with doing something which makes her happy and she is not dependent on anyone and she is you know she's a great woman from one house to she made four houses and so she is uh, and always uh, you know keeps herself busy with the prayers or doing uh, some uh, good activity for the society and yoga meditation in the age as you age these are the activities one should be involved rather than grumbling about children grumbling about uh, uh, somebody and then making unki life miserable hamari life miserable <laughs> you want everybody has to learn how to help themselves so these are the factors which i just mentioned about that i'm sorry um, so this is uh, how uh, holistic approach yoga meditation not helps you immune system neural system neuroplasticity behavioral patterns और वेन योगा मेडिटेशन से क्या हमारे में गुस्सा जो है आता है यू नो नेगेटिविटी जो है वो भी कम हो जाता है एंड देन इन सी बी सी टी दे खींच यू अनदर थिंग अनदर थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग सेल्फ कंपैशन हर कोई अपनी जगह इम्पॉर्टेंट है कोई किसी से कंपेरिजन नहीं करना चाहिए आई एम नॉट आई कैनॉट कंपेयर विद नोबल प्राइज विनिंग एलिजबेथ और आई कैनॉट कंपेयर विद एनी पर्सन यू आर ग्रेट इन योर ओन वे you are great in your own way the role is given to you and you know there's a there's a, a sweeper in my lab and he came and uh, i was assistant professor at that time uh, and uh, he asked me in one sentence tell me about your religion or your hinduism and i said that okay i am an assistant professor i have a chair i have a room i'm sitting there and you are coming and you're sweeping and you're going but you're a very nice person you're very honest you are very kind you are very humble and you help everybody but i'm very bad and in the chair but i'm bad in god's eye you are there and i'm here so i said you know you are not high or low by what you wear and what you have but what you are makes you high or low and that's what my religion teaches so so we have to aspire to take the intellect to that level and take this individuality to universality um this is my family <laughs> my three daughters uh, and my daughter's friends and my son in law and these are my paintings i told you that after i am retired i'm 70 years i just did this paintings recently before coming i do oil painting pastel painting but keeps myself happy, busy that's all and thank you for listening i'm sorry i think uh, it's all a uh, too many um, information given in one nutshell <laughs> any questions you can ask yeah. wonderful talk ma'am thank you so much you. just wanted to know where is soul in all this like uh, we are talking about mind we are talking about brain and then you talked about the neural activity and all mm -hmm. that where is soul we are talking about soul also of humans right so so soul in let's 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 take the soul from religious context let's take the soul from scientific context soul is nothing but a soul is when it enters me like if i if i see you know there's one example i'm going to give you about shankaracharya who am i who am i i'm shamala right and who are you so you and me are different i shamala see you but i see my hand you know quote and quote i i see my hand if i am the hand means there is a difference between seer and seeing somebody is seeing someone right i am seeing my hand so how can i see my i taste i see i hear i hear 
आई सी आई टेस्ट सो द सी एर एंड सीन अलग हो गया इन सेपरेट एपे सो ऑल सेंसेस आर नॉट मी देन हो माइंड आई एम माइंड सो वट एवर इंडिविजुअल सो बट आई एम स्लीपिंग यू नो वेन आई एम स्लीपिंग इज कॉल इज लॉजिक यू नो वेन आई एम स्लीपिंग आई गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग आई से यू नो बड़ी आराम से नींद आया मुझे और इसे दट यू नो और भयंकर मैंने कल हो चिंदी आई दू से और एल से दट आई हैव साउंड स्लीप बट हाउ डू यू नो योर माइंड वॉज अ स्लीप सो यू नॉट इवन द माइंड देन हो यार you are this one thing i am i don't want to go into that kind of real deep philosophy but guess what it has been very well written quantum physics quantum physics really talks about about our own essential nature quantum physics is a quantum consciousness of quantum physics it says that you are infinite you are not able to see your infinity because you are always entrapped in the five senses whatever the five senses give this body of yours or the soul of us only knows that and you leave after death taking the same impressions because you are bound you are bound you are bound but until you learn the art of going within and uplifting yourself to identify yourself becoming merging with universal consciousness in the sense you becoming you, you know just like uh, i'm not going to go into the details about that uh, philosophy but like you know we have like you know in the humans we have seven chakras you know that right seven chakras so where, what happens the serpent uh, the uh, the primordial energy of the god is lies at the base of the spine in in as in a serpent form is a coiled serpent it's like a torch light ab usko jagrat karo means like you know it's talk like mumukshatvam going the desire to know thyself and then control ye jab panch ye panch jo jad band ke rakhe hai isko band lo ab pehle then you then you go uh, go into yourself and then this serpent thought slowly vibrates up and it goes you are black you are you know you are not reflected thode log hote hain they are so black jo so dark energy bolte hain na jo negative log hote hain uske paas jo khoon kharaba karte hain you know like the people like that they are still at animal level and then you go you cannot receive any energy but some people you just walk by and then you receives a kind of energy but scientifically how can we prove that so when you go within and you touch it and glow it goes up and then lightens up it goes up and like it's like a breathing in a lot of tantric like shambhavi mahamudra there's one thing i'm not going to go into the details i used to do meditation right from 12 because i always question that in a jo bhi log hai jo bhi gyani log hai jo bhi you know the whatever this mana mahatma lanta vale yen chesaru tapas chesaru yen chesaru వాళ్ళ పంచేంద్రాలను కంట్రోల్ చేసుకున్నారు అంతర్ముఖమయ్యారు వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బుద్ధ ఆర్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అల్లా ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ అంతర్ముఖమయ్యారు అండ్ దెన్ దే వర్ దే వర్ ఏబుల్ టు ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ దట్ దట్ యూనో ఎన్లైటెన్ సోల్స్ అంటాం కదా సో దే వర్ ఏబుల్ టు టేక్ దేర్ ఇండివిజువాలిటీ యూనివర్సాలిటీ సో ఉస్మే అందులో భగవద్గీతలో చెప్తాడు స్థిత ప్రజ్ఞుడు స్థిత ప్రజ్ఞుడు అంటే వీఆర్ వీఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ కంట్రోల్డ్ బై త్రిగుణాస్ రాజసిక్ తామసిక్ సాత్విక్ గుణాస్ గుణాతీతులు మీన్స్ ఈ గుణాలకు మూడు ఎట్టిని బయటికి వెళ్ళేవాడు గుణాతీతులు అండ్ దట్ ఇస్ స్థిత ప్రజ్ఞ ఈ మైండ్ని యూనో మై సెవెన్ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ డాటర్ రాజ్మి వాట్ ఈస్ సోల్ మీరు అడిగినట్లు అడిగితే నేను తనకు ఒక జవాబు ఇచ్చాను నేను నన్ను సముద్రం నుంచి ఒక బుడగ పైకి వస్తుంది వన్ ఎయిర్ బబుల్ కమ్స్ ఇన్ సపోజింగ్ యూ ఆర్ డెన్ ట్రాప్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఎయిర్ బబుల్ అండ్ దెన్ యూఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ ద ఓషన్ you are trapped in that air bubble and then you are suffering everything in that air bubble that it is a prapancham and going you are suffering but what is your your attribute means ni tattvam enti ni samudram tattvam enti samudram lo neeru ni budagalo unda idi neeru okate but then what is why you not able to see that that illusion a chinna pura film of this in the air bubble a pura samudram lanti your own oceanic nature is not able to uh, see but with your mind if you when you go and uh, establish in your own oceanic consciousness then your all these ups and downs and sukha dukha and all are like you know only the surface on the laya laga vastun type hotunta but you are there there nothing touches them so that is uh, so in in uh, soul anedi is uh, uh, is depending upon your understanding you are infinite you are you are uh, no less than god you are god yourself but you are not able to see because you are trapped in your five senses once you uplift yourself 
you see the universality. <laughs> that is why, like, like I took the Shambhavi Mahabhadra, Kundalini. I was a lot of negative with this. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Subhanti and Thasar, Mupaydal, Pillard, and I took the name of the person. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, somebody said that you should go and do this Sudarshan Kriya Yoga. I never believed it. I went there and I saw this Gujarati and Gujarati wala ante wala tumana kante, Telugu wala kante koncham takku ani, oka oka aham bhavam gada. What is he going to teach? But when I went there, he taught this, uh, this Sudarshan Kriya Yoga. And you believe it or not, I never experienced this. Means this is like like the whole thing was like bongaram thing that we became in chakram. So this is uh, that power I'm not seeing even in Ganapati Sachidana Swami. Ganapati Sachidana Swami also has. Uh, 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 I'm not going to say about this God religion, this Kodano, but there's one thing I'll tell you about one thing that. Uh, so I used to ask questions like you, soul and anti, bhagavanta and anti, Krishna, da, Ramada, Allah, na, you know, like questions we have, right? But one of the one one time when I was 19 years old, I got a dream. I got it in my tata uchi, it won't put a bhagavanta day, a clown, a room, a good chunder, really chewed a hundred. And I went there, and it was a strange building, it was a lot of jewels, and I thought that's that huge. And I went and went, and nobody was there. It's a dream, that a big dream. But when I went there, I thought that what, what will I do if I see? Christ means I will become a, you know, I'm not uh, offending, but I said, what will I, uh, then, then you know, either uh, I wish I could see Krishna, all these biased feelings, you know. But when I went there, I saw nothing. I saw mirrors, parallel mirrors, and then, ah, uh, mirror launch, okay, suru to the picture. It's like, girigara tirutana suru. Then I went there, and I saw the sun, and I said, by the way, when you went to the all the mirrors had sun, but the next minute, there were no mirrors, no sun. It was as though somebody took me and put me in the light and light and light and became the sun with the sun. I became the sun with the sunlight. Alanti Kanti and Mata. Because my mother said it's a good dream, Anante. But Ganapati Sachidanda Swami, after 1992, he did Kriya Yoga and he took a crystal and he said nobody should see me. He took that crystal and in the, the crystal and then he touched me here and after uh, seven days and he took me to that dream. In a waking state for 10 minutes. So, I mean, I'm not going to say that what is soul, soul is infinite. All I believe is that all of us are soul, same souls. All of us are same. None of us are different from each other. <laughs> we are all same. Sorry. <laughs> right. So, on the basis of your experience, mm -hmm. Which is the healthy diet? Um, uh, in the food, actually, everything is uh, <clears throat> healthy in the sense people who eat meat also is healthy for them because certain uh, certain people need that energy. Like my one of my daughters says that you know I have to give eggs to him, and uh, <clears throat> and so she eats. But what I feel that what is not good is sugar loaded food sugar is number one cause Manam you know in india what i have seen in india we think that we are vegetarians you know own in vegetarians but we are bad because we eat mysore pak gulab jamun dang 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 <laughs> and gulab jamun is a poison mysore pak is another poison cake did them better with the egg cake did them better because cake you are baking you know but anything sugar is called as browning of the sugar. My husband, na na matam experiments lo advanced glycation products prepared jaise my husband did jaise because he worked on diabetic cataract for several years. And so you take sugar and you put it in the oven, then you bag of pakam patti patti patti. That's dangerous. Number one dangerous. Mama itla koi input reko. My father jisko chhika tap petka anga ne me budhun leche lo kula sagan dabba dinese. And she was sixty five. There was not an organ which uh, had, I mean, she couldn't control. Sugar is more addictive than cocaine, you know that? <laughs> they say that sugar is more addictive than cocaine. Sugar tina pote, ante sugar tina do anantan ledu, but sugar tina ledu. But then I have uh, some remedies. Sugar baga alvata on the water, kyoka punch in the under, oka neem tablet is good. As a counterfactor. Neem tablets. Yeah. So you take a neem tablet, take one neem tablet or tulsi powder and neem powder mix jaisi, pagadamugani, something to do with it. My sugar level is controlled by pillalade and amma, 
died uh, at the age of 65. I don't want you to die, so no sugar. Munkur sugar tisko. They are very healthy. And also they join yoga, palate, the adi, palanta, the young people, they are our, our teachers. <laughs> Older generation, maybe. And if you India, you can change your son. You do a function on the dictator, put in rose, ye pandago, ah pandago, ye sweeto, ah sweeto. You do a pandago, the jilabel, oh my God, you can all let the bees and the jilabel listen. And jalebi is a poison again. So we are thinking that we are vegetarians, but we are eating sugar. And I told you, sugar is the root cause of all age related. And then Parkinson's disease, by now, now uh, research uh, Parkinson's Foundation chairman, uh, Shamla, you write a grant and uh, I will support you. And I no, 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 I'm an Alzheimer's person. I don't know nothing about Parkinson's. No, 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 you, you write. You will not believe. I had only seven days. So I went to the library. Parkinson's, and ENT. Parkinson's. That's cure And research is about 40 people apply. And the foundation is double. 40 people apply. I was the only person. I was the only person. I was the only person. But it's not that I got the grant. But the, the question I was asking is that Parkinson's is also Parkinson's is dopamine. And uh, dopamine and uh, chemical. Uh, dopamine produces a chet uh, uh, rasan tesi will a kitchen word. Dani kampa vata mane word. Ek shock of karunad. Ante, sorry, either it's 5000 years back. But if I put here the dopamine is now, then I thought that dopamine, wait a minute, you know. Dopamine and then a question of chin. Ante, I put a male check in at office, a male principal, a very well under very job chasin. And Atlani brain, every cell has its job to do. Mm, uh, memory, cognitive related neurons, body functions, yes, no. dopamine produces neurons, muscle control, convertible pi color and kindy run, avani, yes, no. I put art, a kind of neurons and if we chemical this brain or dump, yes, they are chemical, very neurons attack, yes, no. So, they, this chemical, this dopamine is really not helping the muscle movement, and on the contrary, it is. Uh, it is disturbing the other neurons which are supposed to do, it, do their functions. So, poverty will be a dopamine chemical um, uh, injected. Um, it is tough. And the chasing uh, in uh, hypothesis, chasing in specific cancer, then the, you come back to sugar level. A uh, dopamine produced as a neurons, put on good sugar also is the main cause in Parkinson's. And uh, they also have to do a little bit cycling, Nadawali, and Nichiali, and Antaru. Nadawur will do. So, everything is related. <laughs> That is why holistic approaches. Holistic approaches, I don't want to do yoga every day. But yoga is, you know, yoga is uh, uh, old age, low, for example. Now, I cannot do that kind of yoga what I used to do uh, young age. Low. But still, I do yoga and in meditation. Just, you know, the, at least look at 10 minutes, so just uh, crystals, and I go into my own body. I forget the world. And then I get a kind of energy after that. Then you are not a lot healing stones. Deepak Chopra, I can't get a piece of chan, but I'm going to go sun. Then I do that meditation. I just go. Sometimes I go beyond body. Sometimes I see, I float in the light for a long time. But uh, thus, uh, I'm not going to explain that uh, to anyone because that's an individual experience. And you know, it's a, and you cannot uh, uh, reveal that. It's like, you know, it's an in individual experience what you feel uh, about that. But it helps me. It helped me to heal. I helped my daughter. I had a friend, her, her name is Asha, and she was from America. Tano America had two vaccines this kunuchin apurki two each other. Three vaccines is on name, three vaccines this this kunano. Ikar kochin di ikar India raga me, and um, she I, I just called and she was in the emergency room in coma. You know she was not even able to talk. And and I said what happened? She said I got uh, COVID. And then uh, came and laga tar mood rose and reiki jaise samjha na pahen. Reiki ante you know like you breathe in, go to the patient, breathe in their uh, negative uh, whatever the pain, especially pain. I did that even when neno na friendu inko mugram me mugoron dalse ko nadi tiyan ke liye ekar hijack jaise sargun ekar plain India lo. Me mugram akar ke liye we did this reiki reiki in the sense you know take the pain and the 
uh, patient and then you hold on to that and they go into someone whom you believe, this, for example, me, into your God or into your, then, then, and then take their uh, vital or uh, positive energy and leave it to the patient. And she, uh, as she recovered after seven, eight days, she called me and she said, where are you? I said, I'm in California with my daughter. She said, can you go out? I have to talk to you something. And she went and she talked and she said that, you know, you will not believe I was just dying, but I saw somebody pulling and I saw your face. <laughs> I'm not saying that I, I saved her, but I'm saying that whatever the by Reiki pulled her out. And that patient, half an hour, 10 minutes, 6 months, 10 minutes music, but it happened, right? So there are things which are, which are done in holistic approach. This is nothing to do with religion. You know, this is something to do with, you know, I'm writing a book called as Being and Becoming. Andula, I'm taking a Vedic concept of uh, this thing with the So, it's a holy, holistic approach. Ma'am, thank you very much, ma'am, for your enlightening, motivating, and informative presentation. Uh, in fact, we are very fortunate to interact with a multifaceted and multi-talented person like you, uh, who spoke extensively on yoga on the occasion of International Yoga Day being celebrated uh, globally on the theme uh, Yoga for Humanity. We first lo start just na puru na ko seventy years ani we introduced just ko naru. Me meveram namma ledo because you are twenty years younger to that, maybe less to that also. But ipur adha me ni ma ma secret ento me energy levels ke net ki. So yoga is the only solution. And after listening to your presentation, I am remembering three important quotations like yoga is not workout, it is working. Yoga does not take time, but it gives time. And yoga is a light. Once lit, it makes us to shine. Thank you once again, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, before uh, requesting uh, Principal Sir to give the presidential remarks, I request uh, Vice Principal, ma'am, uh, to address the class. Um, I think after uh, uh, such an uh, enlightening uh, talk and uh, information that uh, Dr. Shyamala, ma'am, has shared with all of you, uh, like she had in the end, she said uh, so much in a nutshell. So, Manandar ki kuda, uh, as uh, people, uh, individuals, we would like to know how to apply all this knowledge. So, Manandar ki evidanga in the knowledge of your person and Manankunta and Kunte, Madam Chapinet to holistic approach and maybe chala important. So, even the elements Jordan Chkuni Manamu, Mana lifestyle slow, Ella incorporate Jess Kuntamu. Then when you have a scientific background, it is a simple way to say actually, madam. But yes, there is a lot of science behind all this that ma'am has conveyed. I am also from the Department of Psychology, so I can understand and relate to all these eclectic and holistic approaches to healthy life. So I really thank madam for giving time. In fact, she has been waiting for us to invite her. Uh, she has given some time even in the last minute, but since we had examinations, uh, we said uh, this would be the right time, especially after the International Day of uh, Yoga. Uh, we invited her and uh, we really thank uh, Madam for taking time and coming here and sharing her uh, knowledge in, in just a little time with uh, all of us. Uh, hope we will have more interactions with her. Thank you, Madam. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. In fact, we have to thank uh, Dr. Anupama, ma'am, and Dr. Achila Munigal for arranging this wonderful lecture. Thank you once again. Now, we request our principal, sir, uh, to give the presidential remarks. Good afternoon to all of you. Dr. Shyamala, madam. Dr. Anupama, madam. Dr. Achala, madam. Dr. Lavanya, madam. 
and Dr. Swati Madam and uh, my colleagues from the Department of Public Administration and uh, Department of Library Science and from other departments, Department of Economics, Department of History and other departments and uh, <coughs> Deputy Registrar and other <coughs> staff members of Arts College. Uh, on behalf of uh, University College of Arts and Social Sciences, I thank Dr. Shamala Madam for delivering <coughs> an intellectual talk on the importance of yoga, meditation, music, and healthy diet. Every one of us, we know that uh, nowadays there is a lot of stress in our day-to-day -day life. Consciously or unconsciously, we are forced to suffer from some or the other health problem. Nowadays, uh, as Madam said, BP, sugar, and uh, other, uh, nowadays, uh, uh, because of the stress, uh, there are several uh, psychological problems which are increasing in the society. And mainly because of uh, this too much of materialistic life, the social bondage, the emotional bondage between the human beings is day by day reducing. Not only uh, in family life, but even in uh, social life, that bondage is becoming weak, which is ultimately resulting into many psychological problems. And as Madam has suggested, yes, yoga, meditation, these two are essential for every individual. Yoga is nothing but it is part of Indian tradition. It's nothing but uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, physical exercises which uh, make our body and mind pure. And meditation helps us uh, to give some psychological strength which gives us some peace and happiness. Thank you, Madam, for elaborating on the importance of yoga, meditation, and music. That's why even uh, the other day, we were thinking of organizing a yoga camp in Arts College. In fact, we know about yoga. Most of us, we know about yoga. But uh, what are the different yoga asanas? How to do it? Which we need to learn and practice. Even yesterday, uh, we have celebrated the International Yoga Day. Today, the importance of yoga has been spread to more than 150 countries. Today, now entire Europe, even I think, Madam, as said, even America, yoga became a popular, popular uh, system, which is helpful for uh, maintaining good health and happiness. And of course, every year we are, at least myself, uh, um, participating in these uh, yoga day celebrations. Even yesterday also, uh, College of Education has conducted uh, a yoga camp as part of International Yoga Day. And uh, almost one and a half hour, one yoga trainer has trained us with regard to different uh, yoga asanas. Really, they are wonderful. Yesterday, I have realized, though we do some kind of exercise every day, some walking, some kind of physical exercise every day, 
but uh, yoga is uh, a very scientific kind of exercise which uh, uh, makes our body fit that's why uh, we thought that we would like to invite uh, uh, one yoga trainer to arts college and let us have one day camp it may be for one hour one and a half hour where Uh, they teach us with regard to certain yoga asanas and this yoga is nothing to do with religion yoga is nothing to do with anything yoga is related to our health related to some physical exercises which are essential to maintain good health and uh, i realized that two things are very very important one is uh, the physical exercise and the proper diet that's why i asked madam uh, what kind of diet is advisable to maintain good health so what we eat is also very very important what kind of food we take is also very very important to have a longevity of life so in coming days definitely let us have uh, one camp uh, in general for all the students uh, research scholars and employees teachers and non teaching staff in our college and in fact i thought there is a need of a separate uh, yoga training camp for the girl students and women employees of our college both teaching and non teaching in fact most of the uh, women employees have uh, many health problems which they cannot express so that is why yoga is one of the solution it is uh, a preventive measure to avoid certain health problems it simply once you learn we can practice at home every day if we allocate around 30 40 minutes time so that we can maintain good health at least as our age advances some kind of physical exercise some kind of mental peace as madam said some kind of happiness is required so therefore uh, we need to make yoga and uh, meditation as part of our life uh, to lead the healthy and happy life it's good madam you have enlightened us with regard to the importance of yoga meditation music and uh, healthy diet in coming days you please come to arts college whenever you visit india and interact with our teachers students and research scholars let us have some more discussions in the near future thank you very much for sparing your valuable time with us thank you very much thank you thank you very much sir for emphasizing on the importance of yoga and also planning to organize one training session for all of us now before requesting dr swati ma'am uh, to propose out of thanks i request uh, principal sir and vice principal ma'am to felicitate our esteemed speaker ma'am please accept our uh, small uh, token of uh, respect as a part of our love and affection balu sir please join sir i request vice principal dr balu naik sir anupama ma'am principal sir achila ma'am
and uh, especially i think i like the first slide that you showed about passion so really i think everybody should have a passion whatever may be the passion i think we all should have some kind of goal in our life and some passion so you'll work towards that and of course uh, along the way you just pick up the good things in life so i think that's really wonderful and uh, coming from linguistics department i wanted to add one more thing to whatever ma'am has said related to old age see many of them are having issues and we are living them in old age homes and all that and uh, ma'am wonderfully talked about how you have to make yourself happy so that is very very important so linguistic component what i wanted to add there was learn a new language so what the research has shown is especially in relation to brain when brain is aging research has shown that if you learn some new language again your brain activity increases so your aging is reduced and your dementia is reduced there is a lot of research on that parkinson's is reduced asthma's is reduced so if you learn a new language when you are 50 plus or 60 plus it really helps you to age slowly so just i wanted to give that information related to this very good very good <laughs> so thank you so much to our principal sir uh, for organizing such a wonderful talk thank you to our nodal officer achala dr achala thank you for uh, dr lavanya dr uh, balunayak and all the faculty members present here it's nice that uh, we had a, such a wonderful talk and also thank you to all the supporting staff that we had and a special thanks to our uh, the team from uh, journalism for recording the whole program and documenting it thank you one and all for attending and uh, making this program a grand success thank you, thank you.